pretty surprising, but in the same instance that that measures up. Let us know Makes inside sense. the comments. Now let's go ahead and get into the live question and answer, November 12th, 2021. We of course want to give a big shout out to our boy, Jason Stallworth and Mojo Seedlack. Uh, Jason said, uh, that's scary. After working so hard to build a channel and audience, most of my product sales come organically through my links in my YouTube videos. Yeah, you should be fine so long as you're not directing them off to some CD sites. Uh, so I think maybe your own website will probably be fine. You, you're probably going to be good to go. And uh, what I would recommend is be very specific about when you send people off platform. What I would recommend to anybody that's new into this business, it should be your plan. If you're trying to grow on this platform, this is directly from big names like Nick Nemen, Brian G. Johnson, Roberto Blake, Evan Carmichael, Daryl Leaves, they all say this, send people to another video because on YouTube, it's all about watch time. The longer you can get people to watch and actually be satisfied with your content, the more likely YouTube's going to serve even more content. If you find that you're stuck in a position that you're not getting any type of growth, you're gonna have to take a step back and go, okay, why aren't people watching my content? Why aren't they staying on for long periods of time? Hey, I'm self-aware to know that here on live streaming tech, we got a lot of work to do. You know, same thing goes for my larger channel of self-publishing with Dale. It takes a little bit of work. So I'd recommend be very specific about when you send people off platform. And if you can always send people to another video. So it's kind of like the old Gary Vaynerchuk uh, adage where he says, jab, 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 right hook. That's actually a name of one of his books and the whole idea is to deliver value, deliver value, deliver value, then go for the sale. So that's why it's just like, if you try to make every single video about sale, 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 after a while, um, that might end up getting you some hot water. But I've known some people that have gone years doing it without any issues. So don't sweat that too much. Mojo Seedlack said, I use Invanto and I have to get a license for each time I use. Even if I use the same content in multi videos, I need a new license for each use. Wow, no kidding. Okay, Walt, uh, let's go ahead and take a look at these uh, comments here. And folks, if you're watching this live, uh, please let us know inside the chat. Big shout out to Real Blue Jelly for being first and here. Hopefully you're still hanging out. All right. So yeah, I'll let you handle chat and I'm going to go ahead and handle these comments. And Dale, uh, by all means, you know, you know the rules. Jump in when you see. Okay, cool. I'm going to point out to everybody. So it's really simple. So Walt doesn't have to repeat himself on the right hand side. You're actually going to see the thumbnail for the video and the thumbnail or the title of the video. On the left hand side, you'll see the name of the person commenting. So take it away, Walt. Okay. So this is on the video. Is this $14 cash trees, microphone, hot trash or not? Okay. So this was actually, I think, uh, one of our hot potato, not potatoes. So I don't know why we didn't change that title, but anyway, regardless, uh, K, uh, KJC, <laughs> our mother responded, Dale, when chewing the packages open, did you by chance hear your mother telling you not to do that? No, I didn't. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Yeah, sorry, mom. If you happen to be watching this, uh, honestly, whenever I'm in work mode, I'm not thinking about about you. I, I, I hopefully you don't get offended by that. Okay, uh, this is on Streamlabs OBS Facebook Live settings. No lag, no problem. And this is uh, by Nathan M. When we use Restream to send the live stream to Facebook and YouTube, Facebook has lag and YouTube is synced up. Why is this? It's the <laughs> same signal from Restream. <laughs> okay. face, Facebook's trash. <laughs> Thank you, Dale. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, the face, best way to probably put it is Facebook doesn't have as strong infrastructure as what YouTube does. As That's the bottom good line. As YouTube. We'll simplify that even more. Facebook isn't as good as YouTube, period. That's it. Yeah, it's it, there's I, I you know, I'm laughing every time because it, it, it's it will always be a problem and I don't see Facebook fixing it. Uh, it it's it's funny, too, because I used to go really in depth when answering these questions. And then Dale finally was like, Walt, just just give him the simple answer and move on about your day. <laughs> right, right. Yeah. All right. Twitch affiliate tax interview failed again. Q&A replay. All right. So that means somebody's actually watching our Q&A replays. By the way, uh, if you get your questions in uh, before Friday, what, 11.30? Yeah, well, uh, you're gonna be, uh, you'll make the next week's Q&A. All right, can you add a timestamp for where the tax stuff is since that's the title, not all the premiere stuff? Just say, no. sure. <laughs> I was gonna put no. <laughs> sure, all right. 
I guess I guess I gotta go through and timestamp. Timestamp uh, some of these ones. Yeah, it's it's a little bit of a pain. Do it in two X, man. This is this is a little bit of a hack I usually do. Is I'll go two X, and as I'm kind of talking, I'll put the timestamp and I'll put in like the keyword rich title to get it to where it's searchable and such. But always remember, if you could, folks, if you end up doing any type of timestamps on your channel, start out with zero colon yes. zero zero, and then you put your timestamps thereafter and such. Um, yeah. But yeah, sorry, man. I, I really probably should have told you to probably put timestamps on those. Cause yeah. I do it on uh, well, segment. I've been getting kind of lazy with that because YouTube's been doing it for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Maybe, maybe it'll come out. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Twitch affiliate tax interview, why you must do it or else. My you don't have to read that, bro. Everybody sees the context on the right. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. Sorry. Yeah. You did state that my mother doesn't want uh, to give me or uh, give her T T I N. Doesn't want. Sorry to, to hear that. Her tax uh, identification. Uh, yeah. Just, um, sorry to hear that. That's <laughs> that's all. Why, I, hang on. Why would you be using your mother's? Um. In in some instances, they can be able to use oh, their okay. parents and such. Uh. It, it's it's just up to the parent. All right. So you know? we'll just do. Sorry to hear that. Yep. There's there's not much you can really do about that. My chat won't reset. Help me! Hey. <laughs> yeah, my chat won't reset. Okay, stream as OBS, Facebook Live settings, 2001. Okay, so that was a, uh, I would just shut down stream, like make sure it actually shuts down all the way. Yeah, and then clear and the then, cache. Oh, they probably need to clear the cache. I would bet you. So, um, if any of you folks happen to be wondering, you know, why do we do this? question and answer in this live segment and such and we repurpose it it's because sometimes people want the goods that they want and so with this right here we're going to go ahead and answer this and we try to pick out some of the most popular things in our little segments here eventually the two of us will probably include like a new segment on these shows but for right now it's just going to be the live question and answer yep okay clive stevenson okay this is uh why do i need to restream to social media accounts i want to stand alone live stream solution this is worthless i if i have to connect to social media accounts okay why he must have got this all wrong why would he i wouldn't would even worry about it at this point because the widget's no longer available so uh, at yeah. this point i i almost feel like this particular video we might have to actually just take down because it's just no longer you know available but they said that it may come back one day, right? right. Yeah, they said it, it might come back one day. Gee, so. But as far as adding in those social accounts and such like that, um, it's because you do have to have something you're broadcasting from. So, um, but... I wouldn't add it to this one. This sounds like someone who's just upset at life. Why do I need um, to add my social media accounts? Cl calm down, Clive. Calm down. Calm down. Yeah, just add your yeah. social account. You'll be fine. No one's going to hack you. And if you don't have social media or any of those things, kudos on you. So I would just recommend just build out the infrastructure yourself and skip restream if it's not good enough for you. Okay, this one is by uh, Ju or Ju. Uh, my problem is that the name of another person appears. I Whoa. don't know what to do. Contact Twitch uh, support. That sounds weird. Yeah, are you using autofill? Yeah, that could probably be it. Yeah, I, I, I don't. I would just say just simple. Just contact Twitch support. Because at this point, like, honestly, I don't even know if it's autofill, if it's already popping up with somebody else's name. But you would still have to put that name in, wouldn't you? Oh, so like like the Twitch, like when it was made or whatever, it was made under someone's name? Yeah. Yeah. Who knows? Uh -huh. I, I, that sounds like a real big glitch right there. And it's nothing that we're going to be able to cover. Yeah. 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 I mean, it, okay. So that's that's Pretty all the it. comments all right give out the uh give out the warning we're gonna look at the hell for review <laughs> there hell for review there all right yep so. it gets it gets ugly folks parental guidance is suggested so children cover your ears parents be mindful none okay well that's good yeah, awesome good gonna, stuff jump out of that screen share and we'll start to wrap up today's broadcast Okay, folks, this has been fantastic. We really appreciate you taking a little bit of time out your day uh, to spend a little bit of time with us. Uh, just to kind of give you a heads up, this very next week, we actually will be back in 
to chat just a little bit more about, uh, give me just a second, I forgot our, our we're gonna talk about Elgato products. Don't buy Elgato products till you watch this. Look, I'm a huge Elgato fan, but I'm gonna be able to tell you the pros and cons of each one of these things that I've bought. And I know that Walt's actually got a handful of Elgato products as well. We're gonna do a deep dive into it and how it affects your live streaming experience. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure you hit the thumbs up as per usual. And uh, Walt, what video are they gonna check out? Uh, this one right here that I'm holding right here. And if you haven't already subscribed, subscribe by tapping my head right here. Folks, <laughs> take care of yourselves. We appreciate the support.